In this week's second helping of Dirty Dining, Contact 13's Darcy Spears goes to the market. Two of them actually the tide for the highest emirates. Tonight, Dirty Dining presents Gross Grocers. Unfortunately, you guys can't film in here. Before you start anything, you guys are not allowed to film here. These two Valley supermarkets have more in common than health code violations. Sorry, can you turn the camera off, please? Neither wants to explain why they wound up with 35 demerits and C grades. Okay, well, who can we talk to? Who's the person Corporate in charge? Public relations. Okay, but they don't work in the deli and they don't know what's that going would be, on. That would be the public relations with Marsha Guilford. Marsha knows why things City. went wrong in the deli. There was quite a bit wrong at the deli inside Smith's on Flamingo and Sand Hill, beginning with flying insects, bags of moldy bread, and visibly spoiled cherry tomatoes. Fried chicken, tenders, wings, and baked chicken had to be thrown out due to unsafe temperatures. And get this, inspectors found cooling logs had been falsified. Potentially hazardous foods have to be cooled quickly to control bacteria. Improper cooling is a major cause of foodborne illness. Health District pictures also show a container of raw chicken tenders on a shelf with ready-to-eat foods. Smith's employees were spraying chemical sanitizer around open food and check out this damaged box of exposed and adulterated cheese. The health report doesn't say how it happened, but it looks like something chewed through the cardboard and started gnawing on the cheese. Smith's corporate public relations office wouldn't allow anyone here in Las Vegas to go on camera. They sent a statement saying food safety is our top priority and all items identified were swiftly addressed. Associates were retrained in key areas and we are pleased that the store is back to its A grade. Across town at Cardenas Market on Meadows Indicator, another 35 demerit C grade. At the snack bar, inspectors saw a food handler pick up a cockroach and then immediately go cut tomatoes. There was also a roach in the cold service area, flies in the back prep room, cooked beans that were almost a month old, and 10 packages of expired alfalfa sprouts, some of which were beginning to liquefy. Customers who watched us walk up asked what was going on. Cockroaches, flies, spoiled food, dirty conditions. <laughs> Don't be sick. They immediately got back in line to get a refund on the lunch they just ordered. You see the C grade is displayed. It's right up there. So that's what you want to look for. I I always there. look. Well, you think they have it where when people are facing this way to order. Other issues at Cardenas include raw and broken eggs stored next to sauces and uncovered food in the walk-in cooler where shelves were lined with aluminum-wrapped cardboard that was extremely dirty with food debris and juice. I'm Darcy Spears from Channel 13. Thanks for coming over to talk to me. Um, We're here. Not, hold on. Before you start anything, you guys are not allowed to film here. But they couldn't keep inspectors from taking pictures to show these packages of raw bacon on top of exposed bell peppers. There were also dirty shelves, dirty floors, and kitchenwares in clean storage that were soiled with food debris. We just want to give the market a chance to participate because it's going to go on the air, you know, one way or another, yeah. but it makes but more sense for you guys to give us your side of the story. Inside the story, you guys are not allowed to. Is there them. someone who'd like to come out with us and talk with us? I will ask, um, I'll have to call the district manager so he can talk to you guys, but you guys are not allowed to come inside the store. Okay. No one from Cardenas was available to go on camera either. They sent a statement saying they took immediate action to correct all deficiencies and ensure their internal controls and procedures meet regulatory standards and exceed expectations. Cardenas still has a C, but they're hoping for reinspection next week. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.